okay, I'm, I'm being a bit too, too care careful here. Basically, the, there's a speed spot that doesn't grow much. So it would be like... Okay way would be like find the sweet spot from yeah, the yeah, yeah. from the uh, power level, but then again it, it bumps around, especially with the server lag. So you can't really you can't really say There if, isn't really a sweet spot. Yeah, if it yeah, you can kind of tell but then again it's like no. Okay, I'm almost at his space part. Then I'm going to quit the black and on my way to Eviras. Then I'm coming out. I mean, I've tried like uh, Rockman with the Andromeda, but the elevator isn't necessarily great either. And it's not, uh, yeah, great. It does work, but it's tricky. Not as tricky as with the Reclaimer, but... Yeah. The Reclaimer really is terrible. Yeah. Loading shit in there. Yeah, I hope they fix it. Mm, we don't. Okay, now there's the hard decision. Red or black. I mean, I think I could have fought both. But it's not... Mm. I mean, the red looks nice with the med bay. Yeah, if you, it's a tough are, if you are aiming that kind of gameplay, sure. I mean, uh, Cutlass was good for for the actual actual idea of learning how to mine and doing cargo and stuff like that. I had had another car cargo ship, so uh, I would say that if I start started again, I would take Cutlass Red, but uh, Black was far greater because I could do a lot of other things with it. Mm. Yeah. So I, I mean, basically, right now the medical gameplay yeah, is yeah, I kind of grinded the money for the Cutlass uh, Black and Black and uh, ROC. Mm, I, th I think I'm going to uh, buy the Black. Yeah. Yeah. No going back now. Okay, which one did you buy? Black. Yeah, sure. Black, Black, Black is great. Black is beautiful. Mm. And as, as you can see, I'm having 67% of power and it's uh, climbing ever so st steadily. So, mm. okay, now it's complaining being too hot. Uh, lower right, right, left screen, uh, it has temperature which is like 270 degrees. I don't think it's hot. And it's not growing because I'm I'm actually ha having two systems offline. Okay. Okay. It's Probably, if I would be damaging this um, laser here, it could give more issues. And and that's something that I have never figured out. But yeah, it would seem that if I punish this uh, ROC a lot, then it's going to be uh, give me headaches, like mm. s a shutdown or to do something else. While mining, I should actually keep uh, my eye on the radar, because if I'm going to see another blue blip appearing, then then I then think you're scared. Uh, yeah, then I'm scared, and and for the right reasons. So that's that's the that's the thing when you need to run. Mm. Although ROC has actually a lot of smaller signature than than uh, Cutlass, mm. and it has some system shut down, so it might not ap appear until very close. Okay, now it's getting too hot. 
but the heat it has gone down, so I don't know. Then again, we are in a planet that is like over 200 degrees. I'm I'm just wondering how these plants actually can stand like. Like mad stick was like 150 degrees Celsius, so mm. this is really hot planet. Okay, now I know it actually shut down because the overheating. Okay. Yeah, it, it can. Black is fully equipped. Okay, great. All drives and shit. Vehicle impounded parking violation. That was my pad. Are you fucking kidding me? It got assigned to me. What? <laughs> yeah. I landed in the pad. Oh wait! First, I said they're going to assign it to another customer. So. Yeah. What? I'm confused. I mean, it starts at another one. Pay the fine. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, I don't know what happens if if several people die to try to land at the same time or reserve the landing spot. But sometimes mm. it's it's like funny, fun funny stuff happens with the Star Citizen, and it's it's mm -hmm. just because the systems are not talking properly to each other. And that's like that like biggest thing with this that this is so massive and the systems are so complex. They are written written as complex systems. Mm. So it's like Okay it starts out in the game it's gonna be finished fast. Yeah. But I actually like something some really annoying things about Stars and I just like them. I like having to wait in what feels like minutes for elevators, you know, or the tram. Missing the fucking tram is also something I like about Star Citizen. Yeah, it, it tries to actually achieve that sense of wonder and sense of being there and actually, actually immersion. Mm -hmm. And then the bugs are things that actually drop us down. This is like something that I have been like wishing that would be made from the from the kid when I was mm. young. Yeah, I used to play a lot of Wing Commander games. Mm. Private Privateer too, which which is like Privateer is <laughs> resembles a lot of, of uh, Star Citizen. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm way too young to remember that kind. Yeah, well, you were like, uh, like was I even born then? <laughs> yeah, well, you were like, like in a tadpole in the, your daddy's ball sack. Yeah. At that point, <laughs> yeah. Great, many great things came out at the beginning of nineties, uh, games-wise, like new, new type of games, new genres. Uh, Wing Commander was like. 1990, and it was great, and and mm. uh, Wing Commander 2 like 1992, or was it three? And and Wing Commander 3 like 1995 and 4 like 1996, and they were great. Okay, I'm letting this this ROC cool down a bit. First started Star Citizen. Uh, the black was a ship that I always wanted. Yeah. Power Just kind of felt like a way, yeah. like such a big ship. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And and the small hint: do not get at uh, 
the power get to the red red line at all because it's 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 like time con consuming to gather around okay. those mi yeah those those it might not kill you but it would spread the diamonds around in a large area like 150 meters and and so it's it's something that you want to avoid so yeah yeah i, I know that <laughs> for for some reasons i don't know it is actually easy to mine because dolovine is like explosive so mm. it's like this is uh, most expensive and <laughs> easy to mine so it's like overall good good thing hunt Okay. Yeah. So it's. Is the station relatively close to you, or not at all? Station, like mining station. Just, just some station where you can retrieve from us. Uh, no, not really. I mean, it's like 500 kilometers. Hmm. Away because I like to mine in solitude because you do not like people. I understand. Uh, well, people are some people are camping with the guns near the mining stations, mm -hmm. so it's like if you if you are doing mining there, it's like one of the best places that pirates could get you. Yeah. And and while while Aberdeen is relatively safe, it's said that. Uh, Ariella is is a pro pirate haven, so it's it's like there's a, always somebody there who wants to shoot somebody, mm. and then care carefully in. And we are back in. I used to have a flight rule that uh, either 50% of the ROC tank full of the diamonds or like three deposits, then I'm going to uh, go so. and go and uh, sell them because uh, 30k is actually cost a lot of a lot of my money loss. Money loss, yeah. This actually shows you the oops, stuff that you have uh, orally mined. Um, and basically you, you need to find your own sweet, sweet spots that you know how to get there and that are usually filled with the with minerals you want. Mm. That kind of applies to all kind of mining. I have my own own place in a iron belt for quantanium that I mine. Okay. And it's like that's really so <laughs> mining in solitude because I drop out. Yeah, the, the iron hail about I know. Yeah, I I really. I've been there, but I've never really been successful there. No. no. But it was one day where me and Elfes were trying to mine there. In like half an hour, we both went completely different ways. There in the back, we only found one rock or container, and that yeah. rock had like one person. Okay. okay, that's like bad place. Uh, you you need to have some kind of de degree of success. So mm. if if it's bad place, jump a bit farther further away and let the game generate some some new place for you. Mm. Yeah, it's like it's like bad algorithm. Sometimes you get bad and sometimes there's a fountain in rocks next to you. So what was that? <laughs> I don't know. So uh, all right, we have a one head and eye rock here and it's it's okay size but it's only one so I don't bother. Mm. Because it's it takes time and it's it's like there's a so small danger to fuck ev everything up when you when I actually land and try to take the ROC out and Stuff, stuff could happen because this is star citizen, mm. and I usually uh, fly with the with the gear out because 
it kind of helps if I if I smash into something with low speed, of course. Understandable. Yeah, uh, because night flight flight are pretty hard and demanding, <laughs> and and could actually mean mean that uh, you can you can easily crash into mountain. Okay, there's my rock again. This really small rock. We don't want it. But anyway, it's it's good good to see Hadanite. So basically, Hadanite is is an same thing applies actually to Quantanium. The valuable minerals seem to be at the edge of those hills. So if there's an area with the hills, you want to skirt it around. Okay. Yeah. So again, it's it's algorithm that uh, makes these things. So there's there's prone to be some logic. How the how the deposits are actually made in a game. And they're completely randomized. No, no, they are not randomized. Uh, you algorithm is usually that you can get same result every time you run the algorithm. So it's it's basically because there's there's no such thing that totally randomized. Everything depends from something. Sometimes these are actually appearing inside uh, bigger rocks, <laughs> and and you can't you can't get them. So That's great. Yeah. So okay, there's a very good hadanite here. All right. Uh, sun is set setting down. So basically, what I could do is is land the land the bastard and point the, my lights to it. Deposit. All right. Again, I need to check that there's a clearing, so can I, I can actually get the rock out without. Damaging anything, uh, a bit of slope, that's, that's not necessary good thing. Okay, let's see. And a small thing, okay, now you actually see the loading door actually bending upwards, which is like bad sign. This is actually the thing they are fixing. Okay, I need to move this a bit. Because these are th those things that actually, actually make the accidents happen. Oh, fucking great, that shitty terminal bugged again, that's why I had no power. Yeah, that can happen. Mm, I mean, that sadly does happen way too often. Okay, so yeah, now we are pretty good landed. I need to check that the front wheel is actually on something, because you can actually land with the, with the wings holding the weight and uh, the game doesn't consider you landed then. Again, mm. some funny stuff can happen with the with the with, with the uh, Who stars, uh, collision. Yeah. Or what what was that? Reactions. Reactions was that. False reactions. Well, uh, false reactions. So we don't want to every kind of false reactions. One one thing actually happened. I was murdered like thir thirty times in in my in my ICU bed. Now I have I haven't remembered to use it. I should. Actually, <laughs> use this ICU bed now. Now I put a response po point here. But yo, as I actually left this door uh, open, and somebody came in, and I came in. He shot me to the ROC. After this, I wake up in I ICU. He killed me again, 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 like 50 times. That's great. Yeah. Then he ran out of the uh, ammunition, and and what he did was he jumped to the pilot seat and uh, suicide him. Flying hmm. this thing to the mountain, because why not? Okay, right. and this can happen. But anyway, with the, with the little use of gas and 
in t these days, our is actually straighten up themselves. If you if you want to get a, uh, um, it straighten up, you need to uh, turn the engine on or on and off. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's kind of trick that actually works now. Yeah. Everything mining with this used to be a lot more hard. It's really in instable rock, so I need to be careful. Could bounce, bounce around randomly. Uh -huh. So actual actual tension actual tension with this game base is that uh, do I get a loot? And does the server crash on me? <laughs> Can I sell my loot? <laughs> so it's like uh, sometimes a bit of a gamble. Yeah, it's at the start it's it's a gamble because you actually maybe renting vehicles and and having a limited amount of time to play, and and that's like like many many working. You might not have a that much of game game uh, mm. time to game game actually. Oh, I found a nice had a nice cluster with six rooms. Wow! All right. Cool. So where you are where you are now? I'm on Aberdeen too, like 200 kilometers away from me, I think. All right. So basically, if you started with the mining station, I what I noticed that uh, the Hadanite clusters are actually appearing in a circle, circle formation. The yeah, around around the station. So what I did, I started with the ten, like five kilometers, then I moved to ten kilometers and fifteen kilometers radius, and made a circle around the base. And usually that that really did reveal something, but then again, that that's still danger go close. If somebody mm. wants to find you, they can can find you because your your uh, ship actually actually can be found, and your pings are actually something that people can see re really really far away. One, I actually once spotted caterpillar from the 150 kilometers away with with the red scanners type mm. beam. Okay, this is actually good loot. I think I'm going to call it to the mining base after this and uh, call it a day. Okay. It, it's getting late and then again. Yeah, that's better, 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 better visit mining bases more often than late because when when you actually lose uh, ROC full of oh, that it, cargo, that's very sad. Yeah, it's it's sad thing. And it's it's something that happen happens, but you want to minimize the risk. Mm. So this this is more like calculating gameplay 
than like like shooting. But then again, you can you can actually actually do both. Mm. Actually, I mean, I'm used to bounty hunting, but it's getting kind of boring. Yeah, it's kind of boring. Yeah. And actually, it never was not boring. If I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. Well, at least I have mined the first rock from the cluster already. And how's it going for you? It's going okay. Oh. What do you think of the rock DS? Wait, well, it's, it's just... It, it's weird, I mean... Oh no. Wait. Oh, okay, no, that was just a major lag. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that rock is gone. Yeah, boo. I, it went to the red line as, as well with me. So. Yeah, mine is, mine is already gone. Okay, so I dropped the... Because I also couldn't, like, yeah. stop the charging. Yeah, I dropped it uh, to the white line and wait, wait it to cool down and then again go up. Mm, yeah. Yes, and we couldn't do it like the charge. Yeah. Right from the laser. Didn't. Yeah, luckily. Stop me. ROC is, is slightly protective, so you don't kill yourself when it explodes. Like hand mining was like, mm. you could kill yourself when the rock explodes. That's great. Yeah, so ROC and DS, uh, it's weird, but then again, Star Citizen design is kind of weird that it's not the most useful or practical like why have uh, encased cabin for the ROCDS driver when the mm. actual miner is like sitting on your on shoulder exposed. yeah yeah on exposed and and the probably driver is still exposed the small art fire but then again it it has a pretty, pretty big tank for the for the minerals and you can actually uh, that ac uh, actually can you now use bigger laser, which is like okay, that that might might be useful, but mm. then again it's it's uh, it takes time for me to get out to back to the seat next to me, so I can I can mine. Then I need to move it. So it's a bit like um, solo mining with the mole. You need to run around ship. Uh, and use several systems at once and it's like lots of running around and not much much use and it's it, it's it's not that practical of course you can do it but it's not that practical mm. but then again star citizen design might might be like 80s uh, sci-fi which is not practical Like the thing with the drones, like Star Citizen kind of promised that there will be repair drone, and then they kind of draw it back. That eh, maybe, maybe we don't want to have a drone drones uh, running around. And well, I'm very excited for like, let's say for example the Vulcan with its drones. Yeah. So there will be some some of them, but. 
no no uh, computers that that uh, are true truly aware AI and think for themselves and more like 80s sci-fi style with the with the Starfare and uh, okay now I'm getting too hot um, and the uh, Karak and uh, stuff like that they are like the design is so like aliens. 80s, mm. 80s style of sci-fi. Now I need to cool down a bit. <laughs> Why are you complaining about heat? You are not in heat. What? My character is really complaining about heat right now. Because even though I have a hemorrhoid armor, my body temperature keeps rising. Huh. Yeah. Oh no, it's I, I, hope, I hope you have a correct body armor. Well, I mean, I have the Pembroke, like, there is no survival time in this place. Yeah, it, like... yeah it's pem Pembroke time. Right, right suit for this place. Mm -hmm. Getting dark. Yeah, okay, now the body temperature is rising again. Uh, dropping again. Because it was like at 39 degrees. Yeah, it's, it's getting cold soon. Sun is setting down. Well, he is not somewhere I am. Yeah. With, with this kind of uh, job, you need to have a uh, water with you because because you get thirsty. Yeah, quick. you could get thirsty. A lot easier. And you don't want to want to take a break and fly some somewhere. Mm. The Pembroke got enough space for water. Yeah, I, li I like it. I actually usually fit uh, fit the uh, rock sack in a Pembroke with the with the mm. food and drink. <laughs> I'm just really glad I went with the German reference with that item. As a German, you know. Yep. Like I mean, because rocks. Rucksack is basically like the German with a backpack. Yep. I'm really surprised that I took that instead of like just simply backpack. Yep. That just kind of surprises me. Yeah. Well, ma many things in this game. <laughs> yeah, that's a fair point. Rock? Are you good? Yeah. Is my rock overheating right now? Then there's a, this this uh, uh, feature that you you could do use or thieves you could use, basically uh, sneaking behind your ROC and opening the uh, hatch for the for the tank and <laughs> stealing stealing part of your loot mm -hmm. it, it's actually a good thing because if if the rock flips down and and the collision meshes of the uh, uh, gear get get uh, down to down of the below of the uh, ground ground collision mesh so it, it can't uh, straighten up so then you just need to open it up and take all, everything out and put it them in boxes in your ship mm. yeah that's like that's like losing, losing, but graciously. You don't, you don't lose the loot. Mm. Everything can happen in, in this kind of mining. Yeah. I love how the rock can just like literally climb <laughs> yeah. into the cutlass. Because I didn't necessarily park greatly. Like, uh, I think the ram of the cutters was like half a meter above the ground, but I still managed to get yeah. onto it. Yeah. Isn't actually the personal inventory 30k safe too? 
I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it it is. Uh, if you die, mm. it's it's resetted. But if you if yeah, you yeah. get the 30k, it's 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 free. Mm. So if you are actually going paranoid mode, you can actually take the fight of the loot in, in uh, inside your axe again. <laughs> if if it it's gone, it it can't. Down, comes down to 30k, you you can actually still keep something. These these were like really good gui guidelines in a in a last last uh, fall when when I started, like in October, and that was like horrible season with a lot of 30k's. Oh yeah, I can't actually take it up because like there's too much and shit. And yeah. Can you somehow split it? Yeah, you can actually split it, but, but you need to click the amount. Mm. Uh, can I only sell it on mining or can I can only sell it on outpost? Uh, sorry? Can I only sell it on mining outpost? Or? Yeah, only mining or outpost, so you can't use anything else. Which is kind of uh, problematic if if uh, if the system training system doesn't work in like nearest uh, um, mining outpost. We need to go mm. next, and and that adds danger for the any anyone with the gun actually shooting us down. So that's why I keep the speed up when I approach the mining station and uh, make a quick scan. If there's like somebody that that doesn't belong there, I, I like just pull the stick mm -hmm. and, and raise to the orbit and uh, quantum out anywhere. Are there even mining stations on Aberdeen? Yeah. I can't seem to find any. Yeah, there's a couple. Am I too? Oh wait, isn't HDM HDMS actually? Yeah, H HDMS. Oh yeah, I forget. I was like literally Deep looking for yeah, a shoot them up, but yeah. has none of its mining. Yeah, They're different company. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I just realized that. These are semi-popular places, so because there's so few of them, if somebody wants to camp them, they can. And this is this is why I think it's realistic to actually hire people to. Flight, flight cover for the miners. Going to just sell this one cluster then. Yeah, and I'm probably. Yeah, you did. You don't need to take it from the ROC. ROC can be at the at your the, cutlass, uh, cutlass. Cutlass. Yeah, yeah, and then cutlass just close enough to that. Yeah. So it it works kind of well when with the inventory loads. But uh, if the trading screen doesn't work, then you need, just need to move to the another station. Mm. Yeah, so. I want this great uh, head and night <laughs> field, so, so I'm uh, still. still Mining here, yeah. I hope I'm heading to the right place. Oh, yeah. I haven't tried out salt in some time because it's wrong. I really would like to do trading, but you know, who starts at an idea? Yeah, would be great. Yeah, 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 I wanted to rock the one. Let's see how much I can get by exactly 200 units of head and eye. That's 53k, it's not great, but it's okay. It's okay. It's it's something concerning the game loop. Mm. 
I mean, obviously, I could. I mean, okay, bounty hunting is obviously more product pedal build and anything. Well, yeah, well, I had bad luck <laughs> with the bounty hunting, so no. I I can't say that it's it's uh, sure money. I mean, you could smash to the rock. Uh, when, when I mean, I can easily fight. make f like mold for hundred. Yeah. I think I can easily do 500k in a Yeah, well. I mean, like, 5. I mean, okay, I can. If I constantly would get ERTs, I could get, like, every 5 minutes, probably, like, well, let's say every 7 minutes or 6 minutes, 100k. Well, that that's. Yeah. Have you yes, have so you I... have you cal calculated the um, amount of time which it took to get you with those bonuses? Because again, oh, it was some time, yeah. Yeah. So it's it's like yeah, you can do fast money, but it it requires mm -hmm. something. And and yeah, you can do fast money with the mining as well because there's a pretty short game loop. Uh, with this kind of money, money. Mm. longer game loop with the uh, with the uh, quantum and new money. I mean, that's long. Refinery, yeah. Of course, you need to put it for refinery. You don't want to sell it right away. So, first of all, you need to mine, find the rock. You need to mine it. You need to get it to the uh, station without exploding. Then you <laughs> need to refine it, and then you need to. Uh, transport that uh, mineral to the uh, planets. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's kind of long game loop. Lots of play, uh, gameplay involved. So it's it's like it it might might not be as prof profitable than this ro ROC mining we are, we are doing right now. Mm. If you, if you take take the time time in, in comparison. So it's it's simple economy. Mm. You you are investing your time to make some things. One really has crazy flying speed. No, alright. Like, I need less than three minutes from Aberdeen to Crusader. Yeah. Which is quite fast. Scared. Yeah, sc scary. <laughs> Recently, and uh, it's getting late, and I need to log off soon and go to sleep for yeah. obvious reasons. Yeah, all those reasons. Yeah, but then again, small mining trips are always better than anything else. It's just that usually it takes time for the retrieve the vehicle and mm. fit it in the less and usually you could reasonably store these things but sometimes um, Cutlass Red just doesn't like ROC inside Being it awful. yeah and even if you store it like now the ROC is actually blocking the way out so if it's in the landing pad uh, at the yeah. Everest Harbor how you are going to get in, so it's it's kind of uh, quite of uh, exercise actually get inside. So mm. that that's why that's why you can actually store Cutlass Black with the with the ROC, uh, but not uh, as well as uh, Cutlass Red. Mm. 
Mm. All right, so this was good exercise. Now closest. Um, which uh, mining base are you? <laughs> I'm almost at a crusader. Okay, so which which mining base uh, was your pick? I think. Wait, I can't exactly remember. I don't know. Was it? I think it might have been Anderson. Yeah, Anderson was pretty close to me, so it, it worked. Right, tra training screen. Mm. I, I didn't hear you complain, so. Oh, wait, is there a best deck on Aberdeen? Can you check one of them? Yeah, there's Anderson. No, no, I mean, if there's best deck, maybe it was best deck, but it was on another planet, I can't tell right now. Okay. Yeah, it probably might have been innocent. Yeah, it's, it's close. Mm, yeah, I have been around 218 kilometers away from you there, so... Yeah, Anderson or... or um, that other base, I don't remember. Uh, yeah. I, I don't... I don't... I, either of them works. Mm. Did you hear that, like, in the next patch you can actually shoot that part of the so will Yeah, I know, no, the chaos that ensues. Well, it's like people have been complaining that they don't have a right to defend them. That they can't fight. Yeah, they, they can't defend them, so. mm. And that's like, that's something I would have like to do at one point. They were like a uh, biker who was uh, waiting me to get out of the ship so he can ram me. Mm. Which was like bonkers, really. Mm. I mean, I mean, how bored you need to be for that. Mm. It's funny ramming ships with day ninety, though. <laughs> yeah, like at Korea or something. If there's just any ship, and you ramble with an N90, that just looks so satisfying. Yeah, well, uh, grieving and, and uh, actually spoiling others' game is, is actually a big hobby. There's a lot of people who are mm. doing that in almost all games. And, and games like Tarkov actually get away with it, that it's it's okay, it's it's unfair game and it should be unfair game and yeah. don't complain. Uh, part of the experience, so. Alright, so now. Either I'm going to make a belly landing, or I need to park my ship so that I can open the side door and jump into some structure on the uh, Anderson base. I'm, I'm going to do the latter. I, I still don't get it why the Cutlass back has like doors in the side and you really can't... You really can't use them mm -hmm. to get in, in and out. Probably, yeah, I mean, if at some point I will probably be like for docking and shit. Yeah, something like... Yeah, I mean, I mean, docking boards are here with, with uh, blue and uh, red. But uh, it's it's like sliding door in a cutlass black. Mm. Oh, that can is hiding at Remax now. All right. Now, okay. Now I'm parked.
116,000. All right. That that was okay. I didn't feel like I'm wasting my time. Got bounty. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. I'm ending the day for. Have you sold already? Uh, I'll sold. Yeah, one hundred and sixteen thousand. Oh, not too bad, I guess. Yeah, it's it's okay for, uh, and it's like half of the ROC. One hundred seventy thousand cost, yeah. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like four hundred units of the head and eye, so half of the what can you can fit to the oh, okay. RLC. That's yeah. what you meant. Yeah. Half the capacity. Yeah, half of the capacity. So I could have continued but I think it's late enough so I need mm, how I, late is it way yeah. Yeah. So Where are you from by the way? Uh, Finland. No, I'm from Germany. Yeah. Lot, lots of Germans in, in uh, Star Citizen scene. Hmm. Also a lot of French people. Yeah, I, I know. Lot of, bag lot of baguettes. Yeah. And I don't, I don't understand what they are talking about. <laughs> Me neither. Yeah. issues with the door here but yeah it's like now the ro rock wants to die hmm. I, I think I'm still getting it out it doesn't need to come out cleanly hmm. but actually combat and the cuddles black isn't too bad yeah no it's not too bad and uh, you can actually fit big guns in it and it's if you take a, your friend with it, it's it's like killdozer because that kind of doubles your volume of fire. I don't usually return ROCs. Yeah. Why well, would you? <laughs> I need to ask the permission to park. <laughs> and then you likely get the other one. Because the, when your honor is occupied. Yeah. I mean, I, I understand the game system that you need to... Please proceed to side landing bay. Hail the traffic mm -hmm. control. Because yeah. a couple of players could basically spawn the, at the same landing, landing pad at the same time. Mm -hmm. So some some things are just gamified, but overall, Star Citizen feels like it's it's going immersion Immersion. First. Yeah, when it when it's ready. <laughs> so, immersion. Yeah. So it's like. I mean, I mean, like this airlock logic. There's no tutorial about it. It's like quite intuitive. You mean what? Uh, what? what airlock. Water? Airlock. Yeah, There's yeah, like yeah. like one one big button that cycle. Mm. 
Every, everyone knows how to use it. Well, but I guess in 900 years, you know, the airlock design might have improved. Yeah, well, it's 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 not that. But it's very hard. fast. Also, that's yeah. Just like instantly. Yeah, that that's that's one thing. This doesn't feel like 900 years from this day. Oh, all right. Now I have a peak of. That definitely does feel like a C788. Yeah. That is scary. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I need to get inside and it might not be that uh, easy. Okay, yeah, I'll not fight any colors black against the Talonic ever again, remind me please. Yeah, yeah, that's not... Well, maybe if you upgrade it, but no. <laughs> I did. Not with the basic. The talent is fast. Feel humiliated. Alright. Heading out yeah, from the already. heading out from the successful mining mission. Mm. Okay, the next patch, I'm gonna grab the talon. <laughs> sure, you do that. 